Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of Tip Tuesday. This Tip Tuesday is going to be all about safety and safety related features, things you should pay attention to. One of the things I don't have in here and readily available is my tow vehicle. So I thought I would share with you some of the things that I always check before I take off for a trip. I definitely check all my fluids, my brake fluid, my power steering fluid, make sure all that's good. I also, once I'm hooked up to my camper, I will test my brake controller. I'll make sure it's hooked up properly. And I'll give it a little squeeze, to make sure it's registering with the camper. So those are some basic things that you should look at on your tow vehicle. Also, while we're talking about that, go ahead and check all your lights and turn signals on your tow vehicle. That leads right into the next thing. Once I'm hooked up to the trailer and I'm plugged in at my pin connection, I will uh, usually have my wife help me. I will check my running lights, I will check my brake lights, and I'll also check both turn signals to make sure they're good. So now we've got some of the easy basic stuff, not that any of it's difficult, but some of the really easy basic stuff out of the way. We'll step over here and I'll talk about some of the things I always check on the camper. Your propane tanks are located up at the front of your camper. Those are good. Take the cover off, periodically check and make sure your connections are good, or good and tight and also check the date on your propane canisters themselves. They actually do have an expiration date on them. If you're unsure, you can always go to uh, an RV dealer that has a service department, as with all of these things, and have them double check it. But usually you'll check your valves, make sure they're screwed in good, check the date on your canisters, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Another thing we don't have on this camper, we actually install those when you pick up, but something you should always check and maintain is your battery. And for instance, in this camper, your battery would be located right there. You want to look at your battery date. You want to make sure that you don't have any major corrosion or anything and just check those connections and stuff. Make sure everything's good. It's going to save you a lot of hassle down the road, literally down the road, but just check that battery periodically. Another super easy item to check is your tires. You're going to want to look for that dry rot. I can't talk. Dry rot. You're gonna to wanna to look for any cracks or anything, any bulges in the tire, and then um, make sure that your air pressure is proper. And you're gonna do that same thing on your tow vehicle. All right, so now we're inside the camper. And one of the things you always wanna make sure that you have handy and that you check periodically is your fire extinguisher. They're usually located someplace close to the door. Check those and make sure that they're still good periodically replace them. It's also not a bad idea to carry a couple of additional fire extinguishers. One thing that my wife ordered, I haven't got to test them yet. I will tell you guys all about them once I get them are these little fire sticks. You put them in like uh, we're going to put them in where our water heater and stuff is. If they detect a, a big surge of heat, they actually explode and shoot foam in there to help extinguish the fire. So that was just an extra precaution that my wife and I wanted to take. Stay tuned, I'll tell you guys more about that later. So just like in our homes, campers actually come equipped with smoke detectors, like this one above me here. What you wanna do is periodically check those smoke detectors, replace the batteries, make sure they're good, just like you do at home. It's just a nice extra layer of safety and, and protection. Campers come equipped with propane and carbon monoxide detectors. They're usually down low on your camper because propane will settle um, a lot. I know this one does and mine does. It actually has a green light that will tell you if it's working. If you don't see that green light or whatever indicator is on yours, you're definitely going to want to have that serviced. You'll also want to pay close attention because there'll be a marking on those that tell you when those need to be replaced. It's several years, but if you're planning on keeping your camper for uh, you know an extended period of time, just keep an eye on that. It's not a bad idea when you bring your camper in every year for service because you're going to let uh, the trained professionals take a look at that system for you and make sure it's good. And one of the last things that I like to do at least a few times a year, it's not so much safety as it is just peace of mind when I'm going around changing the batteries, checking the carbon monoxide detector, all that good stuff, is I will usually go ahead and run my water pump and I'll take some time and I'll go around to all the access points and I'll just check to make sure I don't have any water leaks. The last thing you want is to get to a campground and find out you've got a crimped line 
or something funky going on and you leave for the day and you come back and you've got water issues. So it's always a good idea to just periodically take a little bit of time, go around, like I said, to all those access points. Usually it'll be in your kitchen, your bathroom, and then whatever access point you have to your water pump. Just a nice little thing to check. So guys, there you have it. Super easy stuff. Sometimes things we forget, but they're very valuable for our safety, our family's safety. So be safe out there. Have fun. Camping's all about relaxing and enjoying yourself. So guys, get out there and camp.